Chapter 10. Emperor Ming is holding his daughter, Princess Aura, as a hostage in his war against Prince Baron, Flash Gordon, and Dr. Zarkov. Leaving the land of the dead and with Torch, Sonia, and Thong prisoners, Flash and his friends accompany Baron in his ship to Ming's palace in a daring attempt to rescue the princess. Through the cooperation of Captain Sudan of Ming's guards, they enter the tunnels beneath the palace. But they are attacked by a party of Ming's guards who sound an alarm and... What has happened? Their presence has been discovered. What can we do? Nothing but hope for the best. I still may be... What's the meaning of this alarm? I do not know, Your Majesty. It startled me. It's your duty to find out. Good. They're all there. All except Dale Arden. Caught like rats in a trap. Open the flood control valve. But Your Majesty, you wanted them captured alive. Or are you going to obey? Tell Princess Aura about this interesting event. Hey. There's still a chance to save them. We must will divert the water away from the bottomless pit, down to the lower sluice gate into the ravine. That's done it. They were swept out through the side tunnel. Now they at least have a chance for their lives. Close it quickly. If Ming hears of this, we may meet a horrible death. We've got to get out of here before Ming discovers this trap has failed. The ship is beyond that ridge. Harry broke up. Discovered. Princess Aura, you didn't find her. No, we failed. Zarkov needs attention right away. Ronald, we've got to get away from here as quickly and quietly as we can. Ming doesn't know we're escaping. Hurry! Clever device, Kong. But it'll be of no further use to you. Your friends, Flash Garden and Dr. Zarkov, were killed in an attempted attack upon my castle. And Baron, my husband. It is unfortunate that your husband chose to join the cause of my enemies. It is also unfortunate that I had to die before ridding the universe of your evil presence and placing the Princess Aura upon the throne. My daughter is no longer a princess. She is merely a prisoner of war. Do you hope to save your life for this bravado? No, me. I only hope to get close enough to put my hands on your throat! Oh, oh, oh. Too bad. Arm was a clever scientist. Take him away. Someone calling on Karm's radio. My husband! He's calling Karm. Can you imitate Karm's voice? I can try, Your Majesty. Yeah. Are you alone? Zarkov, speak to you. Oh, they're alive. They're alive! Take her to the women's quarters. Oh, no! <laughs> this is Karm. They failed to find my radio phone. I thought you and your people were drowned in the flooded caverns. The Americans diverted the flood waters through a side tunnel into the ravine. That 
miracle was my daughter. A very clever girl, but she shall be punished. Calm. Let us know when Ming means to attack, and in what manner. Ask him about Princess Aura. The Princess Aura is safe and well. The Emperor believes you were all destroyed by the Flood. He contemplates no other attack upon our body at present. I will know and give you plenty of warning if danger threatens. That's good news, Baron. It gives you time to call in your patrols and prepare the ships for defense. For attack, rather. I mean to take Princess Aura out of Ming's hands at any cost. I'll tell Flash. He and Dale are down at the cells. Well, you'd better come clean, Torch. How many ships has Ming got ready for immediate action? Just why should I tell you anything? Prince Baron would give a good deal for aid in bringing the princess home safely. Why not get help from your friend Kong? He's on the ground. It's too bad Tong escaped. He'd have talked. How did that happen? Well, he pretended to be wounded worse than he was. The guards didn't watch him. We'll try Sonia. Maybe she'll think more of her neck. Sonia, we're going to give you a chance for your life. We want you to send her away, Earth Man. You and I understand each other. I do. Release me, Flash Garden, and I'll tell you everything. <laughs> oh, no. You're going to have to talk first. And then I'll see what I can do about getting you out. Remember, the Prince Baron's prisoner, not mine. Prince Baron, bah. He's as good as putty in your hands and will do anything you bid him. Set me free and I'll show you how to overthrow both Prince Baron and Emperor Ming. Then you and I, Earthman, will rule the universe. Flash. What is it, Roka? Dr. Zarkov wants to see you. He's been talking with Karm by radio, and he says there's no danger of an attack by Ming for some time. Oh, good. Thank you, Roka. Better watch that woman. She'll try to trick you. Thank you, sir. She's already tried. all this about a message from Carm. He said that... Now, wait a minute, Sarkov. I want his exact words. How did he begin? Exact words? I don't know. Roker talked to him first. He made the connection, then handed me the radio. Well, Roker, he said, this is Carm. I'm alone in the laboratory. And it wasn't Carm who was speaking. Not Carm! What do you mean? He said Princess Aura was safe. It couldn't have been Carm. You see, we'd arrange code words to avoid this sort of trick. If it had been Carm, he would have begun with the words, listen carefully. But it was Carm's voice. He said that Ming believed us dead. Dead. Yeah. And he knows we're alive. No doubt is planning for immediate attack after sending that fake message of reassurance. Then I must instruct the outer patrol to be on the alert. Yes, Gordon? 
I have reason to believe that Ming plans to attack at once. Warn all ships to be on the alert. Tell them to report immediately. Any spaceship, whatever market. The order will go out immediately, sir. Thank you. Calling all spaceships. Calling all spaceships. General order number 83. General order number 83. <laughs> Watch that door. Calling Emperor Ming. Calling the palace of Emperor Ming. This is Captain Torch speaking. I've got momentary control of Baron's radio room. What are your orders, sire? I will send gas bombers to attack Baron's palace at once. See if you can call in Baron's patrol ships, so there will be no warning of the attack. It shall be done, sire. Watch that door closely while I call in Barrett's patrols. Calling all patrols. These are general orders from Prince Baron. All ships that are committed once in ground for repairs. Ship number five, acknowledging general order from Prince Baron. We're heading in at once. How long will it take Ming's fleet to get here? Not long. If I can clear the patrols out of their way. Sonia's cell. Yes. I just like to get my hands on it. Well, she's gone. Something's happened to the guard. He's dead. Killed by a ray gun. Get flash and call the guards. I'll send an alarm from the radio room. What are you doing? I'm going to break communication with Baron's ships, so they can't count them in my orders. And you think Ming intends to attack? I'm so sure of it that I took the liberty of broadcasting an order to your patrol ship, Your Highness. Torch and Sony have escaped. Escaped? Impossible. Scatter and search. This little job will prevent anyone from rescinding the order to call in the patrols. Why, you little... Door, Gordon, I'll pull the trigger. Move, quick! Don't let him get away, Flash. He's calling the patrol who means about to attack. Hang the alarm, quickly! Broker, stand back! Guards, get that radio repaired inside. Beast Fleet is coming. Warn the patrols! No. There's a way to the roof back there. They're going into the tower stairs. You won't have a chance. Torch can blast you from there. Never mind. Don't crowd them. He'll kill Dale. I'll head them off from the outside. Ming bombers, the raid has begun. They're dropping gas bombs. Get out on the roof. Maybe we can signal them. They can't see us. We're 
we'll be killed with the rest. 